Hey everybody, it's Cheryl from Cheryl's Crochet. How is everybody today? Um, hope everything is going well in your world and uh, that you're getting a lot of crochet time in. Weather's going to start getting cold up here. So man, I'm going to pull up the blanket and crochet. Can't wait. So, um, probably in the next few videos, I might be looking like a hot mess. Um, I did a really silly thing. I gave up my haircut appointment to my granddaughter. My granddaughter's birthday is this, this weekend and, um, she wanted, she'll be 11 and she wanted to get her hair highlighted and this done and that done. And the gal that does our hair didn't have an opening until the first part of October. And my granddaughter was like, oh, so I gave up my haircut appointment to my granddaughter and I have no idea how long it's going to take me to get back in. So I could end up being a hot mess in the next several videos if I, you know, till I get that worked out. But, but it's okay. That's just, you know, it happens. You, you know, she's all excited. She's going to have some color and I don't know what all they're going to do. But so, <laughs> um, so yeah, we're in the middle of, we're in the middle of, uh, all the birthdays, they all seem to fall at the beginning of September at my house. Um, my husband's was the fifth. My youngest grandson is, it was yesterday, the seventh. My niece is today, the eighth. Um, the twins are the 11th. So, um, yeah, we're pretty birthdayed out here, um, after a while. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's what our weekend is going to, you know, it's, it's birthday weekend, so. Um, so what have I got on tap today? Um, I have done some octopuses, not the traditional, not what everybody's been doing with the, 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 the blanket yarns. I found this pattern, it's called Crochet Octopus. It's by Natalia Kononiko. Um, I'll show you. I've been downloading instead of printing a lot. Oops. Now this is gonna, I don't know. I usually have to tip this. So this is the, the information and I will put it in the description. Um, but this is the pattern and, um, I love it. It's, it's, it didn't take me long, um, to do them and they're, they're just a really cool size. And this one, as you can see his little eyes, um, and their legs kind of filter out. Um, this one, I found this yarn at Walmart and I can't even remember the name of it. Um, and I'm not sure what I did with the ball band, but this is a, it says it's a, a five weight and it's really very soft but I only saw it in like six colors and I don't think I've ever seen it again. And it wasn't even at my Walmart. It was at a different one that I, I stopped at. And so, um, I did it and I just love it. Um, I did not overstuff the heads. So that way, if you, you sit them down, they can, they can kind of, um, have that leaning, uh, that a lot of the, uh, octopuses have so and I used cat eyes um, that one's a little crooked it's okay it can be crooked um, so this one is in a it's it's a fuchsia color okay and I did um, this one this one is out of red heart super saver um, what is this? It's one of their stripes. Um, and I like how it did the colors down the legs and it changed, um, with the different legs and the different curls have some different colors. And so I really, really like this one. Um, so, um, I can't remember the name of this retro stripe, but or not, it's not retro stripe, but it is a red heart stripe 
Um, I actually have some more of it up there. I have some up there. Right in there. So it took about a half a skein for this puppy. So, and again, I didn't overfill it. So it's squishy. It can lay. It can stand. Um, and this is all one piece. Um, you start at the top and you crochet down to here. And this is where you start the legs. Um, and you do a couple rounds out. And then, then you start making the legs come out. And then you go around uh, again for the legs. So the legs are two rounds. Um, and then um, because you have done a, a front post only right here. You do a front post only then um, you just hook on and close the bottom up, um, you know, just decrease until you get it closed up. Um, so that's the color for that one. And I have one more. And I was kind of debating on what color. Do I do something bright? Do I do something a little more traditional? Well, I walked in and I took a look around and I saw my red heart neon stripe. And so here is this one. Oops, he's got, he does have two eyes there. There they go. I used a little bit bigger cat eye for this one. Um, but I love how the colors changed from leg to leg um, with the neon stripe. Cause there's a couple purple, there's a, some blue, there's the yellow, the orange, the pink. Um, and so um, I, I really like how uh, this turned out. Now, I did not color control because um, you can see this is where it changed from blue to black and from the, the, the green to the black. I did not color control. Um, but I just, I absolutely am thrilled. Um, I still have some more of the, the retro or the, not the retro. I keep wanting to, I, maybe I need to make one out of retro stripe. I don't know. Cause it keeps popping up in my head. Um, but I, and again, this took about a half a skein. So I have enough out of the skein I was using, um, to make another one. Um, and then I also have more. Um, I have at least one more full skein. So um, I can see some of these in my future and I, at, at my my fall sales that are coming up. Um, I'm hoping this is going to be a big hit um, for folks. So really didn't take very long. It took me a couple of hours. I mean, the biggest thing is, is once you start the legs, you have, you know, you're rounding eight legs. Um, but that's... Um, but the rest of it took me very little time. So, um, so these are the three colors, um, that I did. Um, and I, I think they're just absolutely adorable. Um, now if you wanted to make them baby safe, you could, um, you could stitch in some eyes or do some different things to make them baby safe. But these are ones I wanted to use the little cat eyes that I had to give it some character. Um, I did not put a mouth on them. I don't think they need one um, because I, when they're sitting, you really wouldn't see it anyway. So um, now if I do more solid color, I may do like some eyebrows or something to give it a little more character. But I, I, I like it the way it is, or I could add detail. It doesn't make any difference. So, um, these are my, these are my three octos that are going in my box, um, of, of stuff. So, um, I'm working on a brand new pattern that was, um, someone told me about, and I can't wait to get some of those done. It's a blanket yarn pattern. And, um, you will soon be seeing some sloths uh, working on some of those and um, I gotta get busy I got I got a stack of um, a family had brought me some stuff to do some memory t-shirt quilts um, for a family member and um, they've been sitting 
forever. <laughs> and I, I need to get them done and get them out to where they belong. So you may, you may see a little bit of t-shirt quilt in the middle of all of this, but it's okay. Um, you will still have plenty of crochet to watch. So, um, so I hope you all have a great weekend. Um, hit that subscribe button. Um, if you haven't watched some of my other videos, go check out some of my other ones. Um, you know, there's some really cool stuff out there and, um, I will see you the next time. Bye everybody. Crochet away.